Good morning, uh, everybody present here. Madam Lauren Sawyer, the co-chair, the French co-chair of CIFIPRA's governing body, Professor Antwapati, the president of CNRS, a very important organization here, well-known in India as well, my two coordinators from French side here, Professor Anne Imberti, Professor Giancarlo, and of course, Mr. Ignasi from Indian Embassy. Thank you very much for sparing your time. In fact, this was decided in March 2018 during the governing body meeting there in New Delhi, which was co-chaired by Madam Oyer, that the idea which was floated last year by some of the scientific council members of CFIPRA that we should have a seminar on this important topic. And Madam, this was implemented uh, so quickly and thanks to CNRS and all the four, the coordinators, two from India and two from France, and the other two coordinators from India are, and in fact, Dr. Rohini Godbule started this process, and later on, this was taken up by Dr. Usha Vijay Raghavan and Dr. Tanusri Sahadas Gupta. As you know, the CIFIPRA is a unique organization, which is a bilateral, and it's India's first, and France is the only one which is outside Europe, and was created in 1987. It has completed 30 years last year, so we are in the 31st year of CIFIPRA. And this topic is considered very, very important. And in fact, as rightly said by uh, some of the speakers here, the time has changed in India as well. If you look at 2018, in 2018, there is a college in Delhi University which is called Miranda House. It is all women's college. And they have started a center for high-end research, which is called DS Kothari Center for High-End Research. And the girls there are doing much better. This is in 2018, the latest. So the time has changed. And now, like if we look at earlier, the girls were going, the women were, you know, preferring, were more inclined towards biology. And now, if you look at the data, which I'm going to present here, after biology, is a physics, material science, chemistry, all these areas are taken up by ladies, girls, and women scientists. Now, uh, uh, what I have done for this seminar, we did some exercise, some analysis in CIFIPRA. CIFIPRA is a very small organization, but the data which has come out is a natural data we do not have any specific program for women in science, but still, when we were doing this analysis of the last 10 years, means from 1st of January 2008 to 31st of December 2017, last year, our data shows that we are above the national data of India and slightly uh, below the French data. Uh, in women in science. So what I request, Madam Oyer, today, that a book or a document which has come out by CIFIPRA, so kindly release that book here. And, uh, and simultaneously, this book right now in New Delhi is being uploaded on CIFIPRA website. So Anybody who is interested can download it there. And all the speakers from France as well as from India 
like from India, before they reach to their office back home, the copy will be there in their department because this is being sent today by a courier. And rest of the people can download it, which is very much will be available in next 15 minutes after the release. Yeah, so this book contains uh, data of last 10 years. Uh, women in Science under SIFIPRA supported projects. Uh, we have two major programs. One is with academic, academic collaboration, which is uh, 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 for academia and academia collaboration, which is going on from the last 30 years. And another program is with industry and academia, which is called IARDP. So we collected the data from uh, these two programs. And this is the book which has been released just now by Madam Oyer. And here uh, it says that from 1-1-2008 to 31st December 2017. And uh, as I said that uh, Sifipra uh, has been a very successful program which is at the at the nucleus of Indo-French SNT Corporation. And both the countries have realized that there is a need of a dedicated center of science and technology. Uh, that's, how, that's how the CIFIPRA is working. And both the countries have realized that there is a need for mobility or the, the exchange of researchers from both sides, particularly the young researchers. So, now, I'm coming to the CSRP, which is uh, the Collaborative Scientific Research Program. And in last 10 years, there were 201 projects were implemented during this period. And there were 31 in, from India and 35 from France. These were the women scientists were involved. So this is there in the chapter 3A. Uh, the details about it in chapter 3A. And we look at the area-wise, because uh, from this gender lens, we uh, studied or, or examined all the 10 domains of science and technology. And we came out with a figure that 48.3% from India and 40% from France were the projects were supported under the life and health sciences, which was led by women scientists. So this information and the detail is in chapter 3A. And this was followed by, in India, the next area was physics. And in France, this was material science. And during this period, 132 projects were completed, of which 38 projects involved Indian and French women scientists. So uh, you can say that 29% of the participation in these projects were from women scientists from both the countries. And out of these 38 completed projects, 183 research papers came out and seven patents were filed. I'm talking about only the women scientists. And this was the impact factor which was ranging from 7.091 to 0.421. So all this information and detail is available on chap in the chapter 3C and 3D. And at the end of every project, there is a review of the progress which has been done, which is normally done through scientific council and scientific council meets two times in a year. So next scientific council is going to meet in November in India. So the grading is given in this scientific council where you would find that 43 from India and 40% the uh, French woman-led projects were graded as excellent. And after that, the next category is very good, so which is 38% from India and 40% from France. So that means approximately 80% of the total projects which were undertaken by women scientists from India and France were graded excellent or very good. So it means that the rest of the 20% or below 20% were either good 
or some kind of satisfactory grading was given. So this is evident that the science undertaken by women is, because this is a natural data, which I said in the beginning that no uh, special or specific program was undertaken by CVPRA for women in science. But in spite of this fact, this data is quite, quite uh, important. And of course, uh, the, the research results through uh, CFIPRA involved program is very, very encouraging, but lots of need lot to be done. In fact, many new programs are to be undertaken, and, but this is from CSIR, uh, CSRP. And the next one is, how to, I want to change, yeah. Now, the another program which involves academia and industry, it is called IARDP. So I took the data because this is a new program which started only uh, uh, 15, 17 years ago. So there, 28 projects were implemented. Nine out of 28 projects involved women scientists from India and France as PIs or co-PIs, and eight Indian and three French women associated in uh, these nine projects. So all this information is available in chapter 4A. And the next one is, yeah. And we also did an exercise of the five completed, successfully completed projects under IARDP, which is Industry Academia Research Development Program. And you would find that out of these five, three projects have developed very good result and uh, come out with a kind of uh, 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 patent is also there and the process and the technology development. So these three projects have come out and uh, in fact, uh, they have published a very good, uh, in very good journals. So these are those three projects and there are non-core programs. The non-core programs, this data is not for 10 years because non-core program started very late. Uh, in 2013 and 14. So this data is of last four or five years that under DST INRIA CNRS program, two out of six completed projects involved women scientists and has resulted 25 publications and one patent. Another program with DST and ANR in France, one out of six completed projects involved India, uh, Indian and uh, women scientists. This information is available in chapter six. And there is a program which is started in 2015, just three years ago, which is called Indo-French Water Network. So there are two out of two completed projects involved, French women co-PIs. So that information is available in chapter seven. There is another program in the PPP mode, which is undertaken by CFIPRA, which is called Bayerex CFIPRA French Embassy Program. So two projects out of three projects involved four Indian and uh, uh, French women scientists. So two publications have come out. If you look at the fellowship, which is a very, very attractive program for young researchers, those who are doing PhD, and they want to do some kind of training, either in India or in France, which is called Raman Chapak Fellowship, which is started in 2013. So out of these, uh, 43, 43 uh, out of 118, 118 fellows were women PhD students. So this, this number is very, very increasing for women scientists. So this information detail is available in chapter 10A. ESON, again, a very prestigious European school of nanoscience and nanotechnology in Grenoble, where almost 50% fellows, the PhD students who were supported by CFIPRA, were women scientists, so 21 out of 46. Now, if you look at the key findings, so 16.41 percent of PIs in CFIPRA under CSRP program have been women. The country-wise, if you look at the 15.42 percent for Indian women scientists and 17.41 for France, the India's current data which was presented in Manipur in March in Science Congress is 
Of course, the French data is much higher than this, but the CFIPRA supported project has, uh, you know, uh, uh, shown that there were 16.41 average PIE were women. Domain of LHS, which is life and health sciences, has a strong preference among women, followed by material science and physics in both the countries. And there are many more areas like uh, you have chemistry, you have planetary science, you have computational science, you have mathematics. Every area is represented by women, but I am talking about the highest number which is shown or which, is, uh, uh, which has come out as a result of this analysis is life and health sciences. Seven patents have been filed. 40 to 43 percent projects were women PI. This I have already explained. So in all, approximately 80 percent of the projects undertaken by, uh, by women were graded as excellent and very good. Three out of five, this I have already. So this is the summary of the book, which is available in the executive summary there. So nine women PIs out of 37 projects in targeted and innovation programs. So scientific outcome of projects involving women were significantly based on common indicators, which we took, and this is presented to all of you. Thank you very much for your patience. That's the last, last slide. So uh, uh, since Madam Oyer is here, so I would like to tell that we, ha we are benefited by her advice as a woman co-chair. And in fact, uh, before her was again a woman co-chair, Madam Griot. And Sifipra, uh, I am the fifth director of Sifipra. So Sifipra also had a woman director. Uh, 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 in 2010 and 12. So uh, if I look at the data of the scientific staff of CFIPRA, like I have four women scientists as compared to one man scientist there in CFIPRA office. So, so women scientists are working very well in uh, CFIPRA system. So thank you very much, ma'am, for your guidance and timely your visionary ideas, which we do get all the time. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, time, which you have given here, for coming and attending this function. Thank you very much. And releasing this book, I am very, very thankful to you. OK, thank you, Dr. Kumar. Maybe we can have a yeah. picture outside. Oh, you, you want to add some words? So I, I, if, if formally I have to say a uh, vote of thanks, that is also written there. So I'm, I'm thankful to all the invitees here. Uh, the CNRS is definitely uh, has provided not only this hall, but so much uh, facilities which are uh, well appreciated here. And in fact, uh, I would like to convey my sincere thanks to all the speakers, all the co-chair, uh, four coordinators and Dr. Rohini Godbule and some of the PIs of CFIPRA project who are there today and the former scientific council members are also here. So thank you very much for uh, your attendance here. And in fact, uh, I also thank my own office there, uh, Sati Devi, who is there, and the people, those who are back at home in CFIPRA office there in New Delhi, uh, uh, Kunal, Payal and uh, Namit and Neeraj and uh, uh, Padmanavan, uh, they all have worked very hard for organizing this meeting. And I also count Dr. Srini Kaveri in my team, uh, if you don't mind that, because we work very closely uh, together there. So thank you, Dr. Srini, and thank you, everybody, each one of you. Thank you very much. And Indian Embassy, of course. And French Embassy, Dr. Idle is not there, but Dr. Idle is always supportive of any program undertaken by CVPRA. Thank you very much.